you can use only the vaccine card you can use only the pcl um test and you can use both they will want to use sense for you after you know them very well no give them chance you tell them where from where that your sister that just left this morning which covid vaccine make i call them may i call this lover for you treat them with this lover they, they fear this lover where where the only thing you are doing in the morning of your traveling time is just to shower wear your wig wear your cap anything you know that day traveling day no paparazzi of too much makeup, too much empty. You're not going to do fine for anybody. Because the more, the more they see how beautiful you are in the airport, the more the immigration is attracted to you. The more they are attracted to scatter your load and, 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 and delay you. Your shebu you say should be by email. Send them an email so they will be a, like an evidence. And when you are start sending the email, make sure you take a screenshot and send it to your high cloud, your another email, your Google photo, your anything, just in case where you get to. Um, your data is not loading your this one you can show them that she be i asked the people he said this one so it was the headline that mislead you so they will be able to take you back to nigeria do whatever or they will cover for the cost of that pcr or anything because it's what they say and that thing i will say is please if you know you're a first time traveler watch this video to the head because this video is specifically made for you guys especially when you get to the airport and you feel like mm, this one actually just come they will want to use your head um, country that you are going that they know that okay it's only pcl that they require for or maybe it's only basic can they can tell you they require both and they say eh, since you know girls now yeah give your boy something they will just extort you you know how they do in your country you know their behavior so anytime i'm making a video sometimes you see my video you say ah, this guest video is too long and everything you think saying i just play you think i'm just looking at myself it takes me time like i saw this comment yesterday so this morning and then i had to call airline i had to call the airports both the two airports Muitala and namde i had to call my friends working there i had to call international airlines that i call airline eh, emirates like the international airline just to confirm these things from there and then i just made my own normal google research and then before i compiled it so when you see me making dumb videos like this it's not as if i'm talking to myself or i just want to come and appear on your faces i've made my research so when i actually take my time making a video for you guys to watch and then you you feel like your own data is too much a big you, you don't have time you just keep skipping keep wait well, don't concern me if the guy is taught you today will concern me because god know that it need to view me that me have to Mm -hmm. so i actually saw a comment yesterday from one of my family members here like my viewers i'm actually my family members so she actually left the comment she was asking if after the covid vaccine she actually still need to do the pcl test and all of that so that's why i actually do i replied that but no, it's not everybody that wants to see that comment and i feel like it should be one of those frequently asked questions because i know most people talk about when you want to come into nigeria and not you exiting nigeria because nigeria itself is like a case study <clears throat> so that's why i've actually decided to actually shoot like a short video about it so and aside that there's actually a new course for covid test there's actually a new course so this video will actually be about your traveling requirements regarding covid when you're actually traveling one thing I want you guys to know is taking the COVID vaccine does not exempt you from contracting COVID. You have been taking the vaccine is just like to reduce the risk of contracting the infection. Is it an infection? The virus. Yeah, virus. From contracting the virus and even when you contract it, it will help to actually subdue the effect rather than maybe down severe body weakness you know, might be mild minute or something like that and then if you know you have a stronger immune system you it might be kind of hard for you to actually um contract it or maybe just contract it and then the symptoms you will see would exhibit itself and be like flu like cold or like somebody that does not have it so just for you to know and understand the essence of that person now let's now go to what do i need when i'm actually leaving the country do I need, um, is my vaccine card enough or I still need to do the PCR test? Guys, two ways. Yes, you need the vaccine card. No, you don't need the vaccine card. Yes, the PCR test is enough for you. No, the PCR test is not enough for you because actually it depends. It varies. Normally, a normal situation, a normal condition. After taking the PCR test, sorry, after taking the vaccine test, we categorize them into um, partially vaccinated um, persons, 
unvaccinated and fully vaccinated. That's because the vaccine is to come in two doses. The first jab, the second one, the first one, um, after the first one, you take the next one like two or three weeks or one month after. And then it also has type. There's actually a COVID vaccine that is Astranavec. That guy's that name is long. <laughs> I'll put it when I'm editing. And then on that one, but I feel like in Nigeria, is that Astrana, Kiniko, Kiniko, that I have, that we have. So most times when you're actually traveling to different countries, some people can say um, um, travelers that collected the other one, travelers that collected this one, and that one. Anyways, I'm just going to be telling you the general rule. So if you actually do your COVID vaccine, like completed the first jab and the second jab, and then you collected your vaccine card from a, do you understand that English? From a certified vaccine center that Nigerian approved from their website that is approved though. Not like you're just going to one place from a certified um, vaccine center. So when you actually have that card, with that, anywhere you want to travel to, most times they don't actually require you to do the PCR test because you have your vaccine um, card already. But based on what I explained earlier, that the vaccine card only unlike when we we're going up that they gave us polio vaccine, measles, and everything. You know, those vaccine is to actually prevent their occurrence. You know, something like for example, like measles. Now, when you come in contact with the person, you actually um, contract it. But once you have the vaccine, even if you come closer than the person, you never contract it. That's what the vaccine works for. Unlike COVID, even after the vaccine, you are still at the risk of contracting it. That one does not mean you should not observe all your protocols. You should not feel like, hey, I'm taking the vaccine and that's it. So that's the reason some countries actually request that even after fully vaccinated, you still need your PCR. But one thing is when you're actually fully vaccinated, the condition that they will put you through, isolation condition that they will put you through as a fully vaccinated patient is different from the one that they will put somebody that took um, the one dose or somebody that didn't even take at all. So it's just different level. So I you understand what I'm trying to say. So even at all you're going to a country that they request that even after the COVID vaccine, you still need your vaccine card, you, <laughs> if, uh, you still need the PCR. Even if you do the PCR and it's a country that they still take the COVID, maybe they still have more cases and then they say, as well, you will not be as serious as somebody that took one job or somebody that never take this thing at all. So guys, are you seeing the difference? So when you're traveling, what are the um, COVID protocols you actually need to follow? There are just two uh, COVID protocols you need to follow, which is the COVID vaccine card and then the PCR test. So what I will say is, know the country you're going to. All countries have different requirements. Just like in Nigeria, people still say it's only when you come to Nigeria, you pay that 50K something. Like different countries with different requirements. But what our advice is, everybody should try and get their COVID vaccine the, the full this thing even if you're still processing your visa and everything because now can take you like a month make sure to take your complete vaccine vaccination and make sure to get your vaccine card uh, i'll actually be doing a video on my health channel actually okay i'll post a video here how you can actually navigate get um certified center near you and everyone of that I, i've gotten my own i've took i've taken the first job mainly the second one but that was when i actually lost my file i posted it on my food channel like i lost all those files like i wanted to post the reaction i was seeing after but it's nothing serious i didn't get any reaction so that and that was the essence of making that video because i've heard so many things of people saying and hey, the vaccine will make you do this make you do that one everything so that was why i actually documented it but i actually lost those files i could not find it on my high cloud with other files don't even let me to be remembering it is 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 you know? so just make sure to actually get your full vaccination card and then regardless of any country you're going any distance that they require you will actually be able to you know but if you've not taken the covid vaccine you like you are unvaccinated hmm, your journey might be very very in fact you never enjoy it so if you actually have your covid card you still have like two legs ahead of enjoying your flight but without it no matter the country and then so another thing i want to say is i told you two requirements for covid vaccine um covid vaccine card and the pcl test this is and or or you can use only the vaccine card you can use only the pcl um test and you can use both like i said depending on the country you're going through 
depending on the high headline you're traveling with depending on the time you're traveling because as a time i am making this video that's what i'm telling you the update so for example like uk if you're traveling to uk your vaccine card is just enough for you once you've taken your full vaccine card when you get to the airport just show it to them this is my vaccine card and everything and you don't need the pcr test so as i was saying some countries we need just one of it and some countries we need both like uk united kingdom when you're traveling your vaccine card is just enough for you so when you get to the airport and then somebody is saying eh, you need to do the pc out there tell him to take you to their organ to go and take you to their immigration or this thing. just try and threaten him not like threatening him but try and use sense for him they will want to use sense for you after you know them very well no give them chance you tell them where from where that your sister that just left this morning which covid vaccine make i call them may i call this lover for you treat them with this lover they, they fear this lover way way and be sure on your right even when they say you can make inquiries for other people because uk does not require for any pcr test your vaccine card from nigeria is just enough for you and even when you arrive i'm not sure they do that self isolation thing again they'll just give you like this their normal manner test to do your test and that's it life moves on but for uk they require sorry for us for usa they require they require this your vaccine card plus your pcr test so that means that's why i said the country you're going varies and again some countries they can actually accept that vaccine card but because they feel like they don't trust nigerians that we used to form a document a bit formulate documents too much that we might not take the document you know those normal trust issues so just like from people coming from us as well nigeria will request for their vaccine card and the pcr test so now let's actually even talk about that pcr test that pcr test should be done 48 hours before you travel if your country requires for pcr test eh, and the vaccine card guys please don't make this mistake you know how much they are doing that pcr test that we don't make this mistake pcr test is done 48 hours before traveling sometimes when you say 48 hours you, you start counting one or counting something no your 48 hours starts from when they took your blood sample like when they do pa 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 tie this in your hand remove your jesus that's not covid sorry covid test they can use blood now it's viral they can use blood all this thing from your nose look at my so your covid test your your 48 hours start counting from the moment they've taken sample from you to take to the laboratory so let's say you went to the laboratory or the hospital by eight o'clock for them to take your sample and then by 8 30 they attended to you your 48 hours start counting by 8 30 till when you collect your results so i don't feel like maybe you can do it three days before then you can collect your um certificate like one hour before so that it's not like 48 hours it's not possible your 48 hours start counting from the moment of sample collection anything even if it is one second after 48 hours they will not allow you to travel this is because the result actually used to have a qr qr code so when you're actually submitting it manual or this thing they will actually scan it so the exact time for sample collection will actually show so make sure your 48 hours start counting so anyway you're traveling like if you're in nigeria you're traveling to abuja you're traveling via abuja you're traveling via lagos be sure of what you're doing so i'll actually put in a link or i'll do a video like watch it check it together you go on their website check the nearest certified um covid um test center to you the nearest one to the airport me, I've, I've not been really there. That's why to fly from Lagos because of the stress. Because you cannot. But anyways, if I'm from Lagos, it's fine. Then if I'm from Abuja, one that is closest to the airport, so that they, after getting a um a test center that is actually closer to the airport, get their number, call them, call them the possibility of how often you can get these results. Like if you do your testing now how many hours difference how many distance so for international travel most international travel flight is always at night sometimes it's always evening sometimes it's always four it's always you rarely see international airline flying in the afternoon they always fly at night mostly at night so your flights can be like around four around five so if you have a testing center 
close to the airport or not far from the airport if you are somebody like abuja you can just go there in the morning very early seven o'clock just let them take your sample you take your that's why i say you make sure you call them and you can actually even book an appointment with them do you understand the english i am saying you can actually book an appointment with them for the morning of that day and make sure in the morning of that day everything you arrange everything is set the only thing you are doing in the morning of your traveling time is just to shower wear your wig wear your cap anything you know that day traveling day no paparazzi of too much makeup too much and you're not going to do fine here for anybody because the more the more they see how beautiful you are in the airport the more the immigration is attracted to you the more they are attracted to scatter all your loads and, and 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 delay you so i'll actually be making it another video of how to actually dress while traveling for the first time don't dress like don't, don't even allow them to notice you if it's possible if you know you're on low court remove your wig me Unless I'm doing local flight, I cannot travel with this type of year for international. I can enter the plane, come away, my wig go. I'm always on low court. They will just be like, ah, this is my game. What do you all go do for that? But I thought they all go do. They go say, like, but what is Nigerian immigration? This is they used to have shame, shall. But you understand what I'm trying to say? The way they want to extort um, a smaller person, small but smart, is even from how they want to extort somebody that look. So don't look flashy to them. Just look normal. So that day, the next day is just to enter the bedroom where your joggers where your clothes your documents i'll be making a video make sure you're subscribed to this channel i made list of things you should pack in the morning of the day you're traveling to be sure say you don't forget anything i don't know why this chair is shaking so make sure you're subscribed to this channel so when you now wake up in the morning bam with your load hospital let them do their test collect your results bam airports chicken now it's not even up to 48 hours and you know that that 48 hours must last between your departure time and then your arrival time on that country if your um, pcr test elapsed like 48 hours while you are still on transit you have to do another one but at least the good thing is the good thing is most um countries outside nigeria they actually do free pcr free PCR out there, so that one might really not be an issue for you, but it might just stress you because they have to delay your flight, you have to join another flight and everything. So make sure to calculate your stopover very well. Like so that's why morning time is is your actually best bet. And please before you even go in that morning time, make sure you've done your online check-in. I'll be making a separate video on that. So before you actually dash out to the hospital, make sure you've done your um online checking for the headline like you've checked in online you picked your seat you picked everything so that even if what's come to the worst and even go to the airport late you just pass immigration do like this that day i went late they did not really check my load because i was there the way i was running jiggy 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 that's because i've actually checked in online so it was easy for me and even when you want to queue like but please don't do that mistake make sure you go as early as you can as early as possible as early as you can because it's always good when they check you with other people than you've been the only world but when you are late they don't really use to do they can say you're being something now who no delay something like that so can you now say so you can actually use your covid test alone to uh, covid vaccine card to travel alone you can use only the PCR test to travel alone. You can use boats to travel alone, depending on the country you're going, depending on the requirements you're going. So how do you know when the country requirements, their COVID requirements? What you can do? Two things. Number one is, not even two, three things. Calling the immigration of the... Um, of the country you're going to in Nigeria. Maybe if you're going to US or this thing, you, you go on Google, um, type US Embassy, call their number ask them the requirements but the thing is they are in nigeria they might not even know the updated information there anything so what you are doing is or well, another thing you do is what are you going to us to do or what are you going to australia to do are you a student if you're a student contact your um admission officer or this and tell them to ask the immigration people in the district please anything you're doing make sure you're sending by email you Make sure you are sending it by email because you know they don't like Nigerians. You know that. Make sure you are doing it by email so you have evidence. Send an email to your admission officer, your district. Like they should contact the immigration office to ask their COVID test requirement. They will send it to you if they say there is no anything. Then another way to actually know is contacting the headline you are actually flying with. So if you are flying with Emirates, send an email to Emirates 
um or call them call will be faster but i prefer email just in case but email does not go to us directly you have to apply so if you are going with virgin hair virgin hair i know they used to reply send them an email ask them the covid requirement even if you cannot send an email they have it on their website it was one of those places i actually went to they have it on their website if you are not sure that may be tabi sugar send them an email and they will actually respond to you the requirement and everything please make sure you have it as your mail so that when you actually get to any country and they're telling you they need something you do not do something tell them you asked especially that hairline me i actually prefer you ask hairline so that in case they are bringing you back just know that the hairline you hope is owing you money you get if you're gonna ask immigration or this thing, you cannot hold them but that hairline when you ask them that which requirement do they require for this country entry and they tell you okay just your vaccine card is enough and then you now get to the point of entry they now say no you have to go back or you need your pcr just go to the uh, desktop i'll be dex of that hairline like, oh yeah it's jack basic she be asked you they'll be like they'll start speaking this that space pay english can you come can you come show them the email what take it to them like but you themselves they don't know <laughs> Because this is what I asked and this is what you reply. So that's why I used to tell people and oh, you know my videos I used to say anything you are doing, make sure it's by email so that you have evidence. Nothing is by mouth, nothing is like she be asked you, she be you say, there's nothing like she be you say, she be you say kidney. Your she be you say should be by email. Send them an email so they will be a, like an evidence. And when you after sending the email, make sure you take a screenshot and send it to your high cloud, your another email, your Google photo, your anything, just in case when you get to um your data is not loading, your this one you can show them that she be I asked the people you say this one, so it was the headline that mislead you. So they will be able to take you back to Nigeria, do whatever, or they will cover for the cost of that PCR or anything because it's what they say that they listen. So the most accurate one is the headline. You send an email to the airline because of course they, you know they used to go almost every day every day so they will know the updates um news about the requirements and everything so far i hope with this few point of mine have been able to actually enlighten teach and actually prevent somebody from being scammed at the airport so guys i wish you all safe flights and please don't forget to want see on when you share. You should not travel at a guy disgraceful because we Nigerians we've gotten bad names enough. When you get there, just be a good citizen of Nigeria. Please represent us well. So guys, I wish you all the best. I wish you a safe flight. I wish you safe everything. So subsequently, I will still be posting videos about first time travelers, things you should take, things you should not take. Like my experience, like I traveled the first time and everything. So guys, make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you click the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. -bye. Wait, let me look for thumbnail. What will I even type to this thing say? tastes like this I don't know what to title this video because I know I've talked about so many things right now. That's why that's why my video is always long. Because when I start talking, my mind was this video will not pass two minutes. But no, I'm sure that this thing has been three minutes. So thank you for loving me like that. Thank you for loving me like that. I don't show pain. Never see Tom Nim sees you. Change right. <laughs>